Hi. Another picture I, or photo I took yesterday at Fort DeSoto. A lovely day. It's a lovely day today too, but it's just getting a little bit cooler than it has been. So what, what we've got here is a nice lot of trees. I, I left this in deliberately because otherwise all my features are on one side or the other rather than coming into the picture. So I'll pin that up there. So I'll, uh, I'll wet the paper all over. I'm using um, Buckingford 200 pound weight. It's a good heavy heavy duty paper and I hope it won't spread too much. I'm not really used to it. I, I bought this block a year or so two, two ago. Now we're gonna oops make sure the, the easel's as steady as we can get it. It's a very rickety affair but it's the one I use when I'm in Florida. Oh that'll do. This will help to uh, diffuse the paint and stop too many hard edges. Right, that's my palette, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. I won't use uh, much of the, well if any of the paints grey. I'll warm the whole painting up with uh, some raw sienna. A good, good coat of that. Now in the, the beach, well the, the sea is uh, just a bit of blue and a bit of blue-green really. Right, okay, so while well, that is uh, going off, I'm going to mix up some uh, ultramarine for the sky. The sky is more cobalt than uh, than ultramarine, but but I like ultramarine. I'm used to it. You get used to your palette and, and all the different things it can do, rather than just keep throwing different colours at the thing. So let's just get this washed in here as you come down. We've got to have that hopefully that nice raw sienna at the bottom here. And, Bit streak in the sky, so let's get. Oh. So that'll be the basic wash for the sea. Uh, get, a, get a horizon in. So a bit of alizarin, bit of crimson, a uh, bit of sienna. As you know, my, my hake is really misbehaving. I'll change it when I go home. I've had enough of it. But unless I see one, I'm not going to order one online. Alright, let's just put the horizon here. Try and get it horizontal. See the brush is split already. It's not, it's not because of any other reason that it's just misbehaving. It's not, not a good one. Well, it's a good one, but hey, we're using it for things it was never designed to do, a watercolour painting. Probably a varnish brush. And I'm just getting some nice darker bits. It's coming down here. Yeah. Put in the uh, bit of a background. So nice dark. Yeah, I'll use some paint cream as a shortcut. But you can always, always warm it up. A bit of red. Oh, that's just. I 
we've got a bit of a peninsula coming out here. And then we've got this bit of land. All these trees here. Let that dry a little bit. And we've got a bit of a bank of uh, warmer land like with, with with some trees cut down in this area sweeping into the sea because of the danger to swimmers bathers sunbathers beach goers because of the the, the, the roots of the trees were undermined when all the sand got washed away from this gorgeous beach. Uh, something like that. If it says dark, just put it in, don't try to name things, just put them in. Bit of dark here. shadow or oh, it's overexposed on the camera but we can just go picking some That's enough of detail for that. Uh, now, we've got, I'll go over that when that's dry. Dry brush over there. Now we've got a shadow, the, 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 the water going back from the sand is here, and it's reflecting the dark from those trees. So I'm just going to put it in, blue and that sienna, a bit of yellow in there I suppose, but dark. Just putting in where I see it, where I see it dark. And now we've got a bit of blue in there to reflect the sky, shining in the water. And here we have there's a darker blue there. There's a bit of a bit of paint grey with the blue. Something like that. Now I'm going to lift out some of that, uh, the light catching the water. And I'll wait for that to be bone dry. Now I haven't got air dry outside, I'm painting in, in the garden. Let's just give you a little look at the garden. There's the garden. A bit of it anyway. Oh. Right, okay. 
that's not quite dry enough yet to go over that with the dry Oops, I lost my pipe then. Right now. I'm going to leave that as uh, well. I could put a. No, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that. That's that's okay. Uh, right, we'll go over this bit of bit of, bit of dry dry colour. Make use of the the roughness of the surface. Spiggly looking trees here. There's a bit more dark on there. Just showing different. Um, bits of the, the ends of leaves, the ends of branches. Uh, not a lot of detail in here that I can see, other than what I put in. A bit, a bit more dark in here. More blue in there. Right, that's what I can do with that. Let's get my vigor. Put in a bit of detail on, on some of this. Cool breeze. Lovely cool breeze. I'm going to use my new brushes, this little number naught. Just little spindly twigs at the top of the walls. And then we'll have to put in some uh, some of those trunks that have been uh, cut off. Some on here. The water line I, I watermark, and that's about it, really. Now, I'll get a flat brush and a bit of tissue. Now, I took this photograph yesterday, we were sunbathing, as you do. Let's just put a bit of that. Uh, Right, I'm just going to lift out some of this. this here. And we've got a nice lift out this. I 
can't get it as bright as the photograph, of course. Lots of now a good dodge on that would be to scrape it out with a with a knife, but or a sharp blade of some description. But I'm outdoors. I'm not in the studio. I'm roughing it in this wonderful weather. Right, let's, let's get that. Right, this is all just dark, darker sea than I've painted it. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that because I'm not too displeased with it. A good uh, sea colour would be Payne's Grey and Ultramarine. Right, I'm not going to do any more of that, I'm going to ruin it, I'm just, if I haven't already. Points. Uh, no people on the beach. There are people up there, but I can't. They're so small, I can't really see them. They won't show. But I'm going to let that go. I don't think I can do much more to it, but I can't get my mount because it's just propped up against the wall. Not sure whether I have to drop the painting down a little bit. Mm. Well, just a little bit. Mm, my stick is not so sticky. Having a, a home day today, we've been to Walmart, Sand, Sands Club. Out to there. My family coming to dinner tonight. Well, oh, that's not too bad. Well, the mount that's going to go in eventually, if it does go in the mount, would be a, the aperture would be quite a bit bigger than that. 
Right, okay, so there we are. Thanks for watching. I'll just zoom you in, you can have a have a look around. Let's open the camera around. So we're sort of square on. So there's my uh, trees and, and things. A very simple rendering. I think my water's not too bad. But being a land lubber, I, I don't get to study the sea. I really make it up as I go along, really. And to be a marine painter, you do need to live. I spend a lot of time by the sea. I'm a townie with close to landscape. That's why I do it. Okay, well then I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.